Okay, so I told you I would go over this uh, when we went through this question in class. Um, I was vacillating between why would they ask this? It's a formula thing, and I'm not really asking you to remember all these formulas. So you're just going to have to remember it for this, for this particular homework problem, so I apologize for that, sort of. Um, from your text, and I couldn't find where it was in your text, but uh, I just took a little, a little bit of digging. Um, this is a cut and paste from your text. Uh, the slope B can be written as B, or if we want, we can say M, or we can just write slope is equal to the correlation coefficient times the ratio of the standard deviation of your Y values divided by the standard deviation of your X values. And those values are given to us. So knowing that um, S sub Y equals 5.22, S sub X is 2.26, and that the slope is equal to, oops, equal to 1.4, positive, allows us to do the following. We're going to substitute 1.4 in for slope. R is what we're looking for in the immediate, uh, as an intermediate step. S sub y is 5.22, and S sub, S sub x, uh, the standard deviation of the x values, the independent variables, uh, is 2.26. So I'm just going to multiply by the, re, by the uh, inverse or reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse, however you want to think about it. 226, 5.22, 226, 5.22. That becomes 1, that becomes 1, and I get R equals 1.4 times 2.26 divided by 5.22, which is great. Except what we're looking for is not the R value. We're looking for the coefficient of determination, which is our R squared value, or R squared value. So we really want R squared. So if I square both of these, then we'll be in much better shape. So let's do the math on this. We're going to take uh, 2.26, oops, 1.4 times 2.26 divided by 5.22. And we're going to put that in parentheses, and then we're going to square it. And we get 0 0.36739302. And uh, that's what they get here as well. Okay? So hopefully that's helpful. Again, um, you don't need to do this. We're not gonna, I'm not going to ask you to do this. Ah, I should double check if it's on the quiz or not, right? Um, so let me pop that open. You're not going to see that. I'm just going to be looking at it as we dig around. I guess I might as well tell you the quiz has six questions. Plot these points. I suppose if, it's, if there's a chance on there, you would just write this formula down. But um, let me see. Plot these points, so you're making a scatter plot. Um, positive, negative, or no correlation, that one, two, three question. Here's a scatter plot. You have to estimate the uh, R value, the correlation coefficient. Looks very much like the problem that we did in class today, except maybe a different number. It's not close to zero, so you have to pick the zero, if you remember that. Four, you're going to find the correlation coefficient by jamming some stuff in your calculator. And uh, data table and calculator is what, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 points. <clears throat> iPod Touch, you're given a set of data, price versus weekly demand. Find the linear model best fits this data using regression and enter the model below. So you'd use your calculators to enter that. You're going to find the squared correlation coefficient was above or below 0. 0.0. So this is actually the uh, t-test. So we'll, we'll get to that, OK? So we'll get to the t-test. Um, we'll talk about that uh, on Wednesday for this video. And if this is some future class, then not on Wednesday, and some other day. And then you're asked to do linear regression to find the equation of the linear function that best fits this data. So there's one, uh, one question about uh, the linear regression t-test and the rest are things that we've already seen and so this question this question here is not on the
quiz, I should say. I would call it a quiz. All right, hopefully that's helpful. And that would be it, right? So let's hit stop on.